good morning. This is Asan's Adventures and Travel. We're uh, heading to Red Deer and uh, this is my follow-up check-up for my uh, ultrasound. So uh, I hope to go there and I hope it's a good news guys. And uh, in this video, I want to uh, show you the very nice color of uh, canola. Ayan. Kasi ano na po, uh, it's a uh, uh, what's that? Blossom time for canola, right? What's that? Blossoms, blossoms time. Yeah. <laughs> tag, tag, bulaklak na po ng canola. So, gusto ko siyang kuhaan ng video at ipakita ko po sa, in sa inyo kasi ang ganda-ganda talaga niya tingnan. Uh, lahat po ay kulay dilaw. Ayan. So, what's up guys? Wait for my uh, vlog. God bless. Canola refers to a particular group of rapeseed varieties, a species of the much larger mustard family that includes, besides mustard, turnips, cauliflower, cabbage, and broccoli. While these plants have been bred for their roots, turnips, leaves, cabbage, or immature flower heads, cauliflower, and broccoli, the rapeseed branch of the family was bred to maximize production of the high oil seeds that are used to produce vegetable oil. With its vibrant yellow flowers, a canola field is a beautiful sight, and its color is a clue to its family history, like mustard. An ancient oil seed, rapeseed was cultivated in Asia and Europe as a source of lamp oil and later cooking oil. Much later, its physical properties made it an essential lubricant of steam engines on naval and merchant ships. It was first grown in Canada as an emergency measure during the Second World War when European and Asian supplies were cut off. Canada responded by quickly increasing its limited rapeseed production, but by 1950, steam power had been converted to diesel and the crop almost disappeared. Until the 1960s, Canada's edible oil production was based on imported oil seeds, a market opportunity that researchers quickly identified as a potential savior for the flagging rapeseed sector. The main impediment to edible oil seed production was the significant levels of erucic acid and eicosanoic acids, both nutritionally undesirable. Rapeseed also contains sulfur compounds called glucosinolates, which at low levels impart the sharp flavor characteristics of certain vegetables such as radishes and mustard, but which, at high concentrations, limit the usefulness of rapeseed for consumption by humans and livestock. The solution was canola or Canadian oil, developed by plant breeders in Saskatchewan and Manitoba during the 1960s and 1970s. Through traditional crossbreeding experiments, they minimized the undesirable compounds and developed varieties that yielded food-grade oil. By the 1980s, canola had replaced rapeseed in Canadian oilseed production. The small yellow flowers characteristic of the canola plant produce tiny round seeds in small pods. These seeds are crushed to produce oil and the remainder is produced into meal, which can be used as a high-protein livestock feed. Since the census of agriculture first began tracking the crop in 1956, the area planted to rapeseed and later canola has expanded steadily from 143,000 hectares to 5 million hectares in 2006. Canola production in Canada is still overwhelmingly concentrated in the prairies, Saskatchewan, Alberta, Manitoba, in the Peace River region of British Columbia which account for 99% of total seeded area. However, canola is also seeded in all other provinces except Newfoundland. 
The 5 million hectares of canola planted in the 2006 crop year yielded approximately 9 million tons of canola. After peaking at 9.5 million tons of canola in 2005, 2006 production was still well above the previous 5-year average of 6.7 million tons. Since 2006, production has been in the rise and by 2008, surpassed 10 million tons. Over half the 9 million tons of canola produced in Canada was exported in 2006. In 2006, Canadian rapeseed production ranked second in the world behind China and ahead of India, Germany, and France. The broader category of rapeseed is used to compare canola production and trade data with other countries. Increasing yields Marketing higher quality crops increases in both canola prices and quantity sold have helped boost Canada's farm cash receipts for canola. By 2005, the crop had surpassed wheat to become the most valuable field crop in Canada. Ito yung canola na ano guys, hindi pa siya masyadong uh, nagdilaw. Pero pupunta ako sa kabila. Ayan! Ayan na siya guys. O, di ba ang ganda-ganda? Welcome po sa farm nila. This is the canola farm in Lacombe. Tapit tayo guys. Kita nyo yan. Kulay blue. Tutubi guys. Ayan, mapit na si Inday, Corazon. <clears throat> Ang dahon niya ay hugis ganito. Ayan. From seeds to oil, raw canola is converted to oil for use in most consumer products through a process called crushing. Ten crushing facilities currently operate in Canada, mainly in the prairies, and a number of new plants are under construction. Still others are undergoing expansion. In 2006, total canola crushing reached 3.6 million tons of seed, while above the 2.9 million tons average in the previous five years. Selfie muna ako guys. Ang ganda ng flowers eh. <laughs> selfie, selfie din pag may time. Takad lang ako guys at uh, titignan ko nga yan kung ano yung nasa tulay na yan. Tignan natin. Gusto ko nakatira ako dyan sa gitna. At akong magsasaka, magbubukid. Damo lang ito guys, pero ang ganda ng bulaklak niya, o diba? Oh, I'm 
Look how much that is there. Oh, look how much that. So, dyan kinukuha yung patubig, guys. Yan. It serves as an irrigation for the crops. Ang ganda ng ibon, oh. May kulay orange siya sa... sa oh, sayang. Lumipad na siya. Mukhang may isla rito, guys. Tignan din natin sa kabila. Nahuling itinanin itong nasa kabila kaya green pa siya. Marami siyang weeds. Ayan guys, nandito ako ngayon sa tabi na Canola Farm dito sa Lacombe. Ayan. Ang ganda-ganda. Kasing ganda ka siya. <laughs> ang ganda-ganda. Ang ganda-ganda ng Canola. Di ba guys? Ang ganda, oh. Uy, ayan. Hindi po amin ito. Nakikipicture lang po ako. Gusto ko lang po ma-share sa inyo. Ayan. Malapitan. Saan malapitan niya lang? <laughs> Ayan. Again, thank you very much for watching Azon's Adventures and Travel. Huwag pong kalimutang mag-subscribe sa aking channel at i-click nyo na rin po ang bell para naman po lagi kayong updated sa aking mga parating pang videos. And thank you so much guys. I love you all. Bye for now.